Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have an insane Black Friday market to talk about after the big day yesterday. Signature signings cards in packs and this insane Benzema flashback SBC. A lot of stuff happened yesterday that we expected and a lot of stuff happened yesterday that we didn't expect. But what you did see yesterday in total was a ton of packs opened, literally millions of lightning round packs were opened between the early lightning rounds and the later lightning rounds because EA went for the bag yesterday and they did lightning rounds twice. And there's still packs going on right now that have bringing continual supply to this market, which to me still brings a little bit of worry on some of these gold cards and some of the, the, the team of the weeks and stuff like that. There's going to be a lot more market movements into Saturday. Now, right now I'm recording this right around 9 p.m. UK time, Friday night, heading into today on Saturday. I'm recording a bit early, um, but also, by the way, it's good to be back. It is great to be back at the setup, not on the companion app, right? I mean, those videos, are, we have a time and place for those. You'll see those again at some point this year in FIBA 22, whenever I go on vacation, basically. Uh, but it's good to be back at the setup in full swing. So, Again, let's talk about this market. Signature signings, everything that happened yesterday. Again, tons of movements. I did make some coins yesterday. It wasn't as insane as I would have liked it to be. There were movements yesterday that would have made you millions. Uh, I made a decent amount. One card that's not included here is I bought a... This, this took up a lot of my coins around the content drop. I bought a Baby Zidane for 2.09. And I sold it for a 2.27. So that was about 60K profit. I bought this at 730 uh, and then I bought two Vinny Juniors at 150 and I have a LAM right now that I'm trying to flip. Uh, so, I mean, I still made well over 100,000 coins yesterday, but there's also some stuff right at the moment that, I, that I'm losing on because there's a lot of panic selling. Uh, I've got some, I got some Sonaldos. You can see here, I got some Sonaldos at like 57, 58,000 coins. I think 58 is the highest that I paid. This guy is out of packs, but what really... What really did not do this Sonaldo well today was that Benzema SBC and having so much hype for La Liga links. It really killed and really diminished a lot of the rest of the market that wasn't super duper meta uh, or La Liga. So I want to take a look at that SBC and how that affected the market as well. And of course, starting off with these signature signings players on this game, these guys had insane movements yesterday. So as we expected, right, we talked about this in yesterday's video. These guys came into packs at 2 p.m. UK early, as uh, early for normal, right? Renato went down to 500,000 coins right before the content drop, and he absolutely exploded in the hours after because what you had was you had a lot of people that wanted to try this card out, a lot of people that got coins from opening lightning round packs, and they just went out and they bought this card with those coins that they had. And yes, there was a lot of supply, but there's also so much demand on this market for these brand new promo cards that all rebounded incredibly. Now, that's not even to mention the fodder cards. Dude, there was so many coins that were taken off the market today because of these cards. These cards, take a look at this Edwards, right? This dude literally went to discard right away down to like 12,000 coins. All of these cards went to 55 to 60,000 coins in the second hour because of this Benzema SBC. And if you take a look at the Benzema SBC, it's coming in at about 121,000 coins. You know, right away, it was 80K. It was 80,000 coins right away. And that's kind of the true value of this SBC, to be completely honest with you. But when you throw in one of these signature signings players that is, that is required for the SBC at like 50,000 coins, that's inflating the price literally by 50K. Massively inflating the price of this Benzema, but everybody is doing this SBC because it's an insane looking card. They changed the work rates to be high, low, He's got a lot of pace. His agility was boosted. His balance was boosted. Look at that. Plus 11 agility from the gold, plus 16 balance, plus 13 pace. He actually got a huge defending upgrade as well. 94 heading accuracy uh, and his defensive awareness and interceptions are way up. So I don't know if you want to try to play him as like a midfielder, but high low work rates. I mean, it's a really, really dope card. I know a lot of people have used the Benzema from earlier on in the year with his uh, player of the month card. And I think this is bringing people back to the Benzema card because it does have pace and it has really good stats. It's French. It links in with basically everything else that everybody is using at the moment. And it was pretty cheap and it's just an insane looking card, right? So this is a dub of an SBC. Look at this, 8,000 thumbs up 
for this SBC. Absolutely insane. And that really controlled the market because of what you saw was a lot of players like the Vinny Jr. Inform that linked to that Benzema absolutely flew today. Take the first Inform Vinny, for example. Out of packs, look at this dude. He was 180. He was actually 140, went up to 150 because what, what you had yesterday as well on Friday with this market is you see this card just continue to go up. What you had yesterday, since these cards released early, since these cards were released at 2 p.m. UK and EA put out lightning rounds, right? A lot of people opened up their saved up packs. They opened up their lightning rounds or their FIFA points that they had in the top left-hand corner of their, of their screen up there, you know? And what happens after that, right? People get their coins from opening packs. They pack their players. They sell them, whatever. They go out and they buy teams and they buy teams. So what you saw yesterday was a lot of cards on the market actually went up in price heading into 6 p.m. UK because people are not just going to sit there and wait for 6 p.m. Some people did, but a lot of people went out and just bought cards. And that's why you saw the market actually rising before our normal 6 p.m. content drop because of that exact thing that right there. People open their packs. And they're like, all right, I got to play weekend league, so I'm going to go buy cards for my team. That's why you saw the market start to rise. And I think that hurt some of our buying power. Because if I remember correctly, last year, and this is what we talked about in last night's video, I was not expecting lightning rounds until 6 p.m. But EA, of course, knowing they could grab the bag today, went ahead and dropped lightning rounds early and then collected the bag again with lightning rounds at normal time, 6, 7, 8 p.m. UK, with the 50, 100, and 125,000 coin packs that were in the store so that is why you saw these cards make the movements that they had in reality it was people had coins from opening lightning rounds and opening saved up packs and then these cards were so good to try out that everybody wanted to get their hands on them right this renato absolutely f flew right and even even for sbc fodder like this whole market yesterday you know we talked about we were so worried about the supply this year the supply this the supply that and to be completely honest Yesterday, there was so much demand. There was an overwhelming amount of demand for the coins that were put on the market yesterday for some of these insanely meta cards. Did it just push them up insane amounts and insane prices, which was wild to see. Now, I was expecting some of that. Like, I was expecting, and we talked about yesterday too, cards like, you know, Vinny Jr. or Mbappe to get cheap before the content drop and then rise up again. And that's exactly what happened. Mbappe was down to like two points. He was basically 2 mil in the low 2 million coin range. And boom, now Mbappe is what? Up at 2.2. He was actually, I believe, Mbappe was like 2.26 or 2.27 at one point selling yesterday. So there was a ton of buyback on a lot of the market because, again, we talked about this as well. All we had for the last week was people uh, selling. People were selling icons. They were selling cards on this game and just waiting for the market crash. Uh, and a lot of times on Black Friday, a lot of the market crash happens ahead of time. And then what you see afterwards is people get coins on Black Friday. They go out and buy teams and you see stuff rise. And that is exactly what you saw yesterday. The supply just didn't seem to like destroy the market as much as we thought it was going to. But I think that's just because there were so many people waiting to buy and expecting the market to get destroyed. Now, the the prices on this game, I look at Kempembe all the time for this example. Kempembe was like 18K, he rose to 22. Right now he's back at like 18, 19K again. A card like this, as packs are continually being released. Now, they're about to update this 9 p.m. Uh, in the store on our Friday. I'm curious to see what they update. Because for the last hour, the last hour what they've had is unlimited 50K packs and eight 125s. Now, the first hour... At 2 p.m. UK, they dropped 50k lightning round, 80,000 of them. At uh, 3 p.m. UK, which was the second hour after the cards were in packs, I think they dropped like 100,000, 100k's. Then they waited no more, no more lightning rounds until 6, 7, and 8 p.m. UK. At 8 p.m. UK, they dropped 600,000, 125k packs, which we did the math on stream. If those would have sold out, which they didn't, there was like 100,000 short. That would have been. 15 million dollars just from a playstation alone so ea is making absolute bank today right of course now what are they releasing here they release another lightning round 80 plus 85 plus star rare player pack this is exactly how they did it last year 125,000 of these 70k packs and then four hours for uh 15 100 k's wow i'm interested to see the pack probabilities on this 6.3 percent of the summer signature signings 
and 18% on team of the week. Wow, dude, this that's the thing. There's just going to be continual supply on supply on supply. And especially as we head into the night tonight and into tom uh, today, Friday night into Saturday, I really just see the supply starting to eat away at these prices on the market. I know you've seen rebounds like Kimpembe went from 18 to 22, but think about all these star signings players that, uh, you know, people are opening the packs that are being opened right now. I really think that you're going to start to see a lot of the market. We had a big buyback and I think you're about to see the market continually kind of slow down and, and like really realize that the, these prices that we saw today and rebounds back up, they're not going to be fully supported. Oh my goodness. Take a look at gold money, gold money was 100,000 coins. This is a card that has been eaten alive by supply today. He is down at 77K. That's actually crazy. This guy has dropped almost 25% today. He was 100,000 coins this morning, and now he's 77K. That's a massive, massive drop off on that card. And for a lot of the rest of the market, I know it's it got bought up. I know a lot of prices went up, whether it was because of Benzema or whether it was because of people just wanting to buy teams. And today was their day to buy teams. I really do think that you're seeing this stuff. It's it kind of reached a peak, right? Even out of pack stuff is going down. De Bruyne is out of packs. He's down at 55k. Salah was 10k up from where he is now at 175. He's now 165. Your out of packs cards did the best, right? Usman Dembele. We didn't get the Gelson Martins SBC yet. We'll talk about that more into today's video. Like Gelson Martins is probably still going to affect the market a ton uh, later on this week. But like Conte's inform, just like the Renato and the Benetta really bounced, Conte was down here at like 500K and then exploded to 600,000 coins. And right now he's 585. So as you're watching this video, you're like, man, Nate, these prices that you saw here were actually up. I still think that you're going to see prices actually still drop even more into Saturday today because that supply, like all of your buyback, your demand has really ended now. And all this supply that is now coming over top of that is gonna push these prices lower. Prices of the cards in packs uh, and prices of like the signature signings, prices of the best of the team of the week, prices of the gold and stuff like that. Even fodder a little bit too. A lot of people were waiting until after 6 p.m. yesterday on Friday to buy fodder, but look what happened. Fodder dropped down with the first set of lightning rounds. I bought fodder right in here. Basically an hour before content, I was buying some of the higher rated stuff and some of this fodder went up as so many people were buying on bid and on snipe and it's kind of come back down because people like bought it up like there was so much investing uh that fodder actually went up from people just going out and buying into cards so what i honestly think you're going to see right now is yes the market has a lot of coins on it right now because there's so many um packs that have been open and continually opening on this game we still have these flash sbcs right this black friday tab that we were expecting um, the flash SBCs are in here. This one expires in, in 25 minutes. We're going to continue to get nice packs in here and we're going to continue to see people go out and do these. And that's going to supply like we had a tradable mega pack. Just stay tuned to EA's Twitter because they're tweeting out all of these packs right here on this game. Now I'm going to do the Benzema. I've got it almost done. He literally fits perfectly into my team. It's going to be Benzema and R9 up top. I mean, that's pretty dope, right? Uh, but so many people are spamming the team week upgrade, even though they're trash. People are spamming the upgrade packs. Now, let's talk about market today a little bit more as well. Into Saturday, if prices are going to drop some more, which I think they are, we have team of the week. Best of team of the week number two is going to be dropping today in this game. And I want to show you, I want to show you what that best of team of the week is um, because I was tagged in a tweet earlier today where EA Sports actually tweeted it out early, right? This right here, they, they deleted this tweet, one of the official EA pages, but this is going to be the best of team of the week that is actually in packs today. And we'll talk about the schedule a little bit more. Uh, Carrasco, Barella, Gabriel Jesus, Depay, Marquinhos, Mane, Kane, Neymar, Benzema, and Kimmich. Those are going to be the best of team of the week that replace best of team of the week one today on Saturday. They are the new items coming into packs. Uh, and then there's going to be a signature stars or a signature signings mini release to come out on Sunday, right? We still haven't seen like Urente. People were talked about Eduard Mendy. Those are gonna be some cards I think we'll see on Sunday with a mini release. As you can see right here, it's released on Sunday. Now everything is in packs until Tuesday. So this promo is basically done on Tuesday, um, which is very interesting. I think today on Saturday, there's gonna be a lot of big upgrade SBCs 
released right now we're going to talk about it and he even says here don't worry we didn't forget about upgrade spcs a variety of repeatable and non-repeatable spcs will be released throughout the weekend as well uh flash spcs are only on friday and sunday um i guess so today on saturday we won't see many of those flash spcs there's going to be a is a, actually a w objective where you play like 25 games or something like that and get um you get a couple packs which is dope and then here's the engagement streak i wanted to point this out as well uh, complete four days in a row to earn the group reward from the corresponding black friday objective and you can go and see this in the objective section as well so you know do these i did the daily one so hopefully it, it continues to be a w a lot of people are questioning though when are we going to see the league upgrade packs what's going to happen today with like an icon repeatable sbc and what about that black friday pack that was like a guaranteed ones to watch guaranteed rule breaker or road to the knockout item i think that might be some of the content that we see today on saturday and maybe tomorrow into sunday because if we take a look at some of the live spcs the foot hero and the base icon upgrade are both expiring today on saturday in my opinion there's a mid icon pack that is in the code if ea which they haven't done this yet they might release a base icon upgrade repeatable that could be something that they could do or they could just switch and go straight up to the mid icon now honestly i would expect a base icon repeatable first then maybe later in the week next week we would get like a mid icon non-repeatable one time i feel like it might be a little early for that still but i think there's going to be another icon upgrade spc released today i also think today is going to be the release of our league specific upgrades so you're like your 81 plus double from bundesliga premier league or your bundesliga three players pack I think that is going to be content that we see today uh, on Saturday as well with the first set of best of team of the week cards going out of packs. So the, the focus is probably today going to switch to, and as it usually does, day one, it's all about when do I buy teams on Black Friday? Like it's all about teams, buying cards, you know, people buying items and linking their squads together to play weekend league and a lot of packs being opened, saved up packs, that kind of stuff. But then when you go later on to the weekend, EA know that so many people have opened FIFA points. So many people have spent money on packs. And what they do is, is they release just SBCs upon SBCs. Uh, and that really is what kind of brings the market down post Black Friday on a lot of levels is going to be those SBCs in the store. So I don't think that SBC fodder was a bad buy. I actually did a club stock of fodder yesterday on the higher rated, like 87s and above. You can see something here, right? I got Kane. 42,000 coins, Ter Stegen, 45. That was an early buy. Neuer, 43. I think I have another Ter Stegen on here. Maybe not. Kane at 45. That was an early buy too. O-Block at 54. Yesterday, what I did was I club stock fodder, and I actually bought some of these ones to watches. Uh, like Delaney, it was 25K, right? With an, anticipating the upgrade for his card soon. Same thing with uh, like Dumfries. I got a Dumfries at 15K. He was going to be 20,000 coins. Tap Sobel was 56K like two days ago. I bought him, Subbitzer, they play today. Upamecano and Subbitzer play today for their fifth win. I bought a Grealish at 25K, an L shot at 23, some Diops at like 27, just because those are live cards that have upgrades coming in the next two weeks that everybody forgot about yesterday. So I did some of that. And if their prices are still low, feel free because people are going to pump those up again. They're going to get hyped up as they get close to their upgrades. So just be aware of that uh, on this market as well at the moment. But honestly, there's, there was so much supply added to the game yesterday. It, it was kind of deceiving. There was so much supply added to the game, but prices didn't absolutely get like pummeled. Some of these icons like haven't moved, but that's even scary. When prices have not moved, just because of how much supply was released, especially if it was an impacts card. Now, again, trading with icons yesterday was fantastic. Some of them fluctuated insane, insane amounts. Like this alarm keeps going between 1.25, 1.35. Uh, I would like him to go back to 1.35 because I have one on, you know, my transfer list at the moment. But there were so many fluctuations to be profited on yesterday with some of these cards. Now, if they drop a huge SBC today, which is somewhat possible, I think we'll get a player SBC today as well. Uh, that Gelson Martins did not drop yesterday. That could still be an SBC that we see today, right? That was a, a leaked SBC that was going to be coming out as a part of this promo. That could still be something that would impact the market today, in my opinion. It's just going to be a very, overall, it's going to be a crazy day 
on day two on Saturday today. I'm just a little bit worried about the supply. There's going to be more lightning rounds today with these signature signings cards in packs uh, and stuff like that. I think these card prices are probably going to drop off a bit more, but I would watch off for a lot of panic selling specifically on those like best of team of the week two cards that are expected to be in the best of team of the week two, like inform Marquinhos. And just like we saw yesterday, right? There was so much panic selling ahead of these cards being dropped in packs like the summer signings and uh, the best of team of the week one. Watch out for Marquinhos and Neymar and Mane today for these cards to potentially get panic sold so much that they would actually rebound after the content drop tomorrow, depending on what it is, you know, with the same movement that we had yesterday with like Conte and with Messi and with and those, those really meta team of the week cards. So I would be just very, very careful with that. But again, we can't mess with the supply on this game. The supply is crazy. A lot of you guys, are like I mentioned, I was going to buy Marquinhos and Kempembe for my team. I have not purchased these cards yet, right? I still think that Marquinhos is going to drop even though he's going out of packs. He's 60K. I haven't bought Kempembe yet because I think Kempembe might hit 15K. Uh, he might hit 15K in the next two days, right? He's only 3 to 4K away one big SBC and look at all these relists. Look at all these Kempembe's at 17K, right? He's going to continue to drop in my opinion. And same thing with Donnarumma. So like gold cards that are in packs, ooh, voice crack. That was really bad. The gold cards that are in packs, I'm still staying away from. I'm still waiting on and waiting for a potential buy time later on this weekend because I don't need them for my team just yet. But I'd be very, very careful with all the supply that was dropped yesterday. There's going to be more insane movements and fluctuations on this market, I would try to stick to the out of packs cards. That's where I would go. That's where I would go, especially whenever they drop this Black Friday pack. There's going to be panic selling on ones to watches, rule breakers, and road to the knockouts. That's going to be a absolutely perfect place to look on the market when there is panic selling on those items. Um, because especially the really rare ones like this Werner, if people sell this back down to 835, you know, you're probably going to want to get involved with that. Watch out for. You know, some of the other cards that rebounded well yesterday, like Rule Breakers Alfonso Davies. Rule Breakers Alfonso Davies was 180,000 coins. He is right now 200K. He's 200,000 coins on this game. If there's panic selling on a card like this today, that would be the perfect type of item that you would hopefully expect to bounce back because not many people are going to pack him from that Black Friday pack, right? So that's the kind of stuff that I'll be looking out for. The out of pack is going to be the safest place. Also, icons going to be great to trade with with fluctuations as there's more coins in this game people are going to be willing to pay the big bucks for an icon card for their team so again just be very very wary of the supply because there's going to be a lot of it coming in and when people are done with their weekend league games they're going to start to sell this stuff off they really really are and there's a lot of people that are spamming upgrade packs and that's draining coins in this market as well but this market is definitely more i guess you could say richer with all the coins that are put on the game but also there's a lot more cards on the market from the supply. So I would see that a lot of these cards prices are still, in my opinion, going to go down unless they're out of pack stuff, uh, especially the golds. I really like that Mane really, really getting destroyed in price. He's going out of packs today, but after seeing what Sun and Salah and De Bruyne have done after their golds are out of packs, I really don't want to invest in that Mane. Not at the moment, at least. So an insane day of Black Friday. It's going to get crazy again today on Saturday with more lightning rounds, more supply. And, you know, a lot of people went out and bought their teams. So we'll see if any content today on Saturday makes people panic sell their teams or the fear of content makes people panic sell their teams any more than it did yesterday. So that's the video for today. I know it was a long one. Thanks for hanging in there with me. There's a lot to talk about, but it has been Nate Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.